welcome you to Santa Clara, California for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. We have two teams today desperately want to beat one another and has turned into one of the great rivalry matchups around the entire National Football League. And how do you see it go before kickoff? Well, I, I, of course, we're excited to do this game, even though these teams are not the same division. We can tell even going through the parking lot, the fans are fired up for this football game. The players are. You can feel a different type of excitement here in the stadium today. So, hey, look out. This is going to be an awesome game. The 49ers are back deep, ready to return to kickoff. Mason Crosby has it teed up for the opening kickoff. And with that kick, we're underway. Ellington's got it. Tackles made right around the 26-yard line. He was the 36th pick in the 2011 draft quarterback, Common Kaepernick. When you talk about dynamic quarterbacks in the NFL, one of the first names that comes off my tongue is Colin Kaepernick. The man is fast. He gets to full speed right away, and he is a dynamic throwing. First down at the 26. Picked up a couple that time. Keep an eye on Torrey Smith, the longtime Raven, now in a 49er uniform. He had many good years out in Baltimore, Phil. He did. Torrey Smith had uh, Joe Flacco throw it to him. He could throw it a long way, and he's going to find out. Colin Kaepernick can make those same type of throws, so he's going to fit in perfectly with this offense. As we set now, the defensive unit, Julius Peppers, has lived in the quarterback's face most of his career. Well, there's a presence when you're six foot six and you can move around like he can. We've seen it his whole career. You can never get enough pass rushers like Julius Peppers. Reggie with the reception. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Here is the MVP of the 2011 NFL season out of California Berkeley quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers one of the best arms in the National Football League in my opinion probably the best thrower of the football. Aaron Rodgers back off the line shotgun formation. with it. How about how high he went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that could go up and make catches like that. And that's Reed who could have had the interception. Randall Cobb is a threat to break it every time the football gets into his hands. One of the secret weapons for the Green Bay Packers, Randall Cobb, in the pass game, catching passes from Aaron Rodgers, but also very dangerous in the return game, too. Rodgers sends it to Cobb. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented, and every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. Touchdown, Green Bay Packers. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Hyde's got a chance for a return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. 
The 49ers got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and give a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. The Packers' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. The defense gets a sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Loss of five on the play. Second and long. Kaepernick with the handoff. Hines tackled down at the 38. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are. There's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third and long, I would be very cautious and conservative. And with no options, he goes ahead and throws it away. They've come out of the blocks fairly sluggishly. And this defense has taken full advantage, Phil. Yeah, the offense having a tough time. They did not have a good series that time. And the defense, you're right, took advantage of a sluggish offense and got off the field. And this will end up in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Rodgers by himself in the backfield. Throws the pass. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Third catch today so far. The Packers are leading in this one, and a lot of that goes back to the play of this quarterback, Phil. Rodgers been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it, and that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it in the game. Second down now. The 49ers will come out in the dime. Rodgers going to take the snap from the shotgun. Rodgers, ball is out, and it's a takeaway. That brings the play to an end. Fumbles are becoming more prevalent in the NFL because the defenders are getting so good at stripping that football away now. The 49ers heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Kaepernick from the gun. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. He'll throw it over the middle. And incomplete. The defense does his job forcing fourth down in a hurry. Both coaching staffs told us this week that this defense would be the key to the game. And so far, they're ready for the occasion as they take them off the field and force the punt. Well, one coaching staff is happy their prediction came true. The other one, of course, is very sad. But so far in this game, very crisp on the defensive side. That return's good for about nine. The Packers have tried to stretch the field vertically, and they certainly have. Rodgers been showing off that cannon he has for an arm. Yeah, he's got it all, doesn't he? When you watch him throw the football down the field, you can see the arm strength. But the biggest thing is you can see that wonderful touch on the football. He is laying that football in there right on the money. The Packers now coming to the line. Been a closely contested game so far. The scores 7 to 0. Rodgers sends it to Cobb. That's five receptions on the day. 
Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it? What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the kick. Rodgers sends it to Cobb. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football, but let's also give credit to the offensive line for pass protection and the coaching staff. They have done a tremendous job of coming up with different plays to find different ways for him to catch the football. Has it. Touchdown. They're doing a terrific job of keeping the pressure on here in the second quarter. Yeah, they have kept the pressure on. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, sometimes players can't make a play because they just don't have the confidence. Now it's up to the coach. Change those calls on the defensive side. Maybe find something that works and give your players some confidence. Ellington's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The 49ers offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of four on the play. Second down and a long way to go. Kaepernick connects with Davis. Davis is taken down at the 25. Third and five coming up. Good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that timeout. Those are big down the stretch. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. Hines got it on the return. Cooks the one who brings him to the ground. Hyde's able to show off his talent on that punt return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. The Packers offense enjoying an outstanding first half here, partner. And they're sitting on a pretty comfortable lead as we draw near the break. Yeah, their offense is playing well. Now, the defensive side, what you have to do, you're getting beat up a little bit, so go in there at halftime, make some changes, call some different defensive formations to give your players a much better chance of success. Aaron Rodgers back off the line, shotgun formation. That ball is rifled to Randall Cobb, who makes the catch. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Second down and ten. The Packers in for the score. And a second touchdown on the game. My goodness, Phil. Halftime can't get here soon enough as it's blowout city. It is. I know you can't wait for halftime because you scarf down food at halftime like you haven't eaten in a week. So we don't want to keep you from that. But this game, oh my gosh, it's been lopsided, hadn't it? And you're right. The team that's losing, they can't wait to get to the locker room. Kaepernick will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. First down at the 20. Hines got it on the handoff. Clay Matthews makes the tackle. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. That'll do it for the first half. We'll be sending you to Larry Ridley back in our studios as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. 
The Packers have had a great passing attack going today. Rodgers been marching his team up and down the field. It's been tremendous design by the offensive coaches coming into this game today. They have given their quarterback and wide receivers chances to make plays. And boy, are they taking advantage of it. Rodgers by himself in the backfield. Maybe this defense at the start of the third quarter with that interception will inspire this offense to finally get going, Phil. Yeah, go out there with a good frame of mind. Forget about what happened in the first half. Just start all over and now get this offense and see if you can go down the field and get some points on the board. The 49ers this time will go with two tight ends. And gains about one. High. He's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Third and 13. And this will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. All set to punt here. That punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Packers seemingly had everything going early with the passing game, but it's been a big change since. Rodgers tried to adjust to the defense, but it hasn't worked out. Well, he's tried, but listen, there's nothing he can do about the offensive line. It's not been as sharp, and I'll tell you what, when the offensive line is not sharp, our quarterback's going to lose confidence. Antoine Bethay makes the hit. Taking another look at the stats here, we have a wide receiver who has put together a complete game, Phil. It has been a tremendous game, Jim, no doubt about it. Now we understand why guys want to be wide receivers in the NFL instead of running back. So many more ways to get them. Six on the board for the Packers. That's his second touchdown today. This is going to be a true statement win for them today. They are serving notice to the rest of the NFL, but this is what they want to do the rest of the year, and that is be sharp on offense, be physical on, all, on defense, and this is what can happen. You can win in a blowout. Ellington's going to start his return. Tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The 49ers offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive. A quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited. So this is going to be tough on the offense. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Loss of two on that play. Second down and 12. Trying to power his way right up the middle. In a situation like this, third long, if you're the defense, catch up by surprise and blitz. Third down on the way. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Scanning the field. Davis going to pull in the bullet pass. Well, you're really in a tough spot. But that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Gets the handle here. Hines tackled right at the 42. High, he's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Kaepernick will be taking the snap out of the pistol. Second down and six. They'll run it with him again. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. First down at the 49. 
There's a flag right there. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. First down here. The final quarter begins with this snap. High balls it in. And Matthews is the one who made the big stop. We're heading to the fourth quarter in what has been a completely one-sided affair. I'd ask you if a comeback is possible, but when it's this margin, Phil, I'm a realist. You are. You are a realist, Jim. And, you know, when you're behind, like you are a lot of times when we play golf by the 14th or 15th hole, you know it's over. But we finish it out. And you know what? Same here in this football game. They got to go ahead and finish this game out. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun. Third and nine. And methodically, he just throws it away. We're early in the fourth, and with this big lead, the defense may be called upon again on fourth down. Yeah, I think they will be. I think the offense is going to go for it here. Why not? They've done nothing right all day long, so if they don't make it, it's not going to make it any worse. But I don't like their chances. The defense has been sound all day long. When one quarterback plays well and the other doesn't, that can lead to a pretty one-sided affair like we've had here today. Yeah, it has been one-sided, but look, there's always reasons why a quarterback plays well or doesn't, Jim. It truly is a team game on the offensive side, and the good numbers come from the offensive line that played well, and the bad numbers come from an offensive line that really struggled here today. He's tackled right at the 43. This is a wide receiver, Phil, right here, who loves to get his hands on the football. Yeah, we've talked about him all day long. What else can I say about him except he's great? Jim, that's what he has in common with you. That ball is rifled to Randall Cobb, who makes the catch. Taking another look at the stats here, we have a wide receiver who has put together a complete game, Phil. It has been a tremendous game, Jim, no doubt about it. Now we understand why guys want to be wide receivers in the NFL instead of running back. So many more ways to get the football and much easier to make plays happen once you get it. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second and ten. And there's a drop. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. The 49ers come out in a dime package. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. This game is over. Oh, listen, it's been over for a while, and I just question, why are you still trying to score? Have a little mercy. I know it's pro football, and I don't usually say this, but the game has been decided. Have some mercy on your opponent and just try to get this game over. Kaepernick will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The 49ers offensively have struggled throughout. It shows up in the stats and, most importantly, up there on the scoreboard. Yeah, they've been bad. I'm not going to deny that, but I'm going to give a lot of credit to the defense. The defense has been aggressive. They've been attacking, and they just took advantage of this offense here today. The 49ers take it from the 23. And Perry in on the tackle. The 49ers have tried a couple of different ways to get the running game going, but it hasn't paid off. Hyde's been stopped from the first quarter. Running game has no chance. That's obvious. We've seen it here today, and it's time for this offense to open it up 
Quit trying to run the football and throw it down the field. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. And it's batted down. Well, Jim, that's a nice job by the defender, knocking that football down on third down. That's what you want to do as a defense, of course. You want to get off the field. Every time an offense completes a third down pass, their chances of getting a score on that drive go up big time. So getting off the field is great. Nice job by the defender. Miller's there to make the tackle. And a run back of about 13. The Packers on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. Rodgers unable to connect that time. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. Second down and 10. Rodgers unable to find his target that time. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. And on the catch, it's Randall Cobb. With these type of numbers today, this wide out has shown he has the capability to get open. I think it's an understatement saying he's getting open. Listen, he is a really good player. And what do you do on the offensive side? You just keep throwing the football his way until the defense stops it. Reed makes the tackle. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Rodgers completion percentage 60% on the day. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Second down after the incompletion. The Packers come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. The 49ers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Third and goal from the eight. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. That could be construed as running up the score, Phil. This game was already in the bag. Well, Jim, it could be construed. you got to try a little harder or the score will get run up on you. How about that? You know, you are allowed to stop them on the defensive side, and you got to put some effort into it and some heart, and we've seen neither. Ellington's going to take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. The 49ers take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing. Pass is intercepted. Tackles made. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. And Tom is not there. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. Wooden down, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. Rodgers, completion percentage, 60% on the day. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Well, I tell you, it's getting ugly out here. Impressive showing today, and it's almost on the brink of running up the score and creating some bad blood. What do you think, Phil? Oh, who cares, man? Rub it in, baby. Rub it in. When you, you're you on top and you're winning the game, I say go for it. Rub some salt in that wound and 
let them know how much it hurts. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The 49ers offense comes back onto the field, and there's nothing they can do to pull out victory here. Just a snap or two, and then it's on to the locker room to explain this loss, Phil. Yeah, listen, today was not their day. Uh, you know, the other team was just better. Give some credit to the defense, but the offense was not sharp, and I don't think the game plan coming into today's game was the one they needed to try and run. And this will probably wrap things up here. Second and ten. Carrying it out. Bolton's got the grab on the touch pass. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish 